Dear colleagues, this is a traumatic cataract. You can see there is rupture of posterior capsule in this case and it is because of blunt trauma. I have taken up this case for surgery. Let us see the surgical steps. The main incision has been made and one side port is being made on the left side of the main incision. and another side port on the right side of the main incision. Now I am going to stain the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye. And I use an air bubble to stain the anterior capsule. If we use air bubble, the undiluted dye rests on the anterior capsule and staining occurs in a very short time. In this case I have waited for about 10-12 seconds and now I am washing the dye out. You can see the anterior capsule is intact. With slit lamp, we could make out a pear shaped rupture of posterior capsule. Now I inject viscoelastic substance and I'm going to do capsulorexis of about 5 millimeter size. I want to place a lens in the sulcus with optic capture. I have raised a capsular tag. I hold this tag with the uterita forceps. I go anticlockwise. I frequently regrasp, release and regrasp and I make The rexus. This is adequate sized rexus, and I hope optic capture will be possible. Now, I didn't do any hydro dissection, I just used bimanual IA and tried to remove the lens matter and see how beautifully it is coming out. Yes, the lens matter has come out and now we can see the rent. Injecting viscoelastic substance and then coming out. And now I enlarge the main wound a little bit to about 3 millimeter because I am going to implant a multi-piece intraocular lens and I don't want to stress the wound. I have gone inside the anterior chamber with the cartridge. Now the leading haptic is placed over the anterior capsular rim and beneath the iris. Very gently it is injected into the anterior chamber and now some more viscoelastic substance is injected over the optic of the intraocular lens and then a Macpherson's forceps is taken hold the trailing haptic with the Macpherson's forceps and very gently I place the trailing haptic in the sulcus between the anterior capsular rim and the iris. Now I inject some diluted 
triamcinolone acetate and do clean the cortex uh, clean the viscoelastic substance using vitrectomy cutter I didn't use Cinco in this case because if there is vitreous stand I'll pull the vitreous stand so I used the cutter to remove the viscoelastic substance I went behind the eye, eye well and did some antivitrectomy which is not shown in this video then I placed some releasable sutures to the wound and concluded the case hope this video will help you in your practice thank you for your attention